Today, I'm giving the All-American Classic a healthy makeover. Roasted garlic and rosemary sirloin burgers, next on Think Kitchen. Now, something I've noticed, and believe me, I get it, is that Americans just love cheeseburgers. And I mean, look at the number of fast food chains dedicated to this traditional meal. Well, what's not to love? You've got meat, cheese, sauce and bread. Unfortunately, the average cheeseburger is very high in fats and calories. In fact, a cheeseburger, large fries and a Coke at a popular fast food chain contains a whopping 1,100 calories and 57 grams of fat. That's almost 90% of what a normal person needs all day. I mean, yikes, we need an alternative. So today we're going to show you how you can have your cheeseburger and eat it too. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, the gags might actually get worse. Okay, our garlic and rosemary sirloin burger is only 293 calories and this recipe is actually very simple to make. Now I've roasted a bulb of garlic and mashed up the cloves and let me tell you, it smells absolutely great. For any of you garlic lovers out there, this is the one for you. I've got a pound of ground sirloin, not ground beef. Even lean ground beef has a lot of fat. So when you can use ground sirloin, it really is your best choice. Okay, to that you're going to add some grated zucchini, which I've got right here. I'm going to throw that in a bowl. Our salt and cracked black pepper. And our chopped rosemary. Get that all in there and we're going to give that a good mix up. Now when that's all mixed together nicely, you're going to take your mixture and form it into patties like I've done here. And then you're basically just going to grill or broil them. Remember, grilling or broiling meats allows the fat to drip away from the meat, making them your healthiest cooking option. And if you want to add cheese, I recommend low-fat mozzarella because its subtle flavour won't overpower the garlic and rosemary. Melt it on your burger a minute before the meat finishes cooking. Now that your burger is done, move on to the buns. And if you're going to use one, whole wheat are a great alternative to white bread. But here are some other healthy options if you want to change things up a little. No surprise here, your healthiest option is the lettuce wrap. It contains no fat and almost no calories, but if your mouth is really craving bread, this whole wheat tortilla is very low in carbs and a nice alternative to a burger bun. So there you have it, one gourmet cheeseburger and three healthier ways to serve it. I've even got an alternative to french fries for all you fast food fanatics, and I'll show you how to make these in another Think Kitchen episode. On the right of your screen, you can click on the Takeaway Tips link where you can download this recipe, and don't forget, check out other webisodes of Think Kitchen for more great ideas. Thank <laughs> you.